Hey all, my name is Mark Hansen, uh, CEO of Topo Designs. Happy to be here in the Gear Lab. At Topo Designs, we're just psyched to get people to uh, add the outdoors into their life and whatever that means to them, whether it's getting outside, taking a walk at a park, or uh, you know, going a lot further and hiking a 14er or whatever their pursuit is. But we just want to make the outdoors accessible to everybody. So that's what we're about at Topo. And that's how our product fits in and, and just want to get people outside. All right, so Mark Hansen, and this is what I brought on a three-day trip to Austin. So this is my everyday, you know, if I'm taking a three-day trip, this is the bag I'm bringing. It's a 30-liter uh, travel bag, Topo Designs. Pretty compact, fits on my back. What I love about the 30 liter bag and why I took it on this three day trip is I feel like for a three or four day trip or a weekend trip, it's still super compact, easy to get an overhead or if necessary, even slide under your seat. And the very square rectangular design uh, makes it really easy to pack out all the space in the bag. So we're not losing because of some strange shape. My business partner, Jed Rose, is an absolute wizard at color. And so all of Topo bags, you may notice are pretty, uh, have interesting color schemes and really stand out. So if, perchance, you end up having to check a bag, super easy to find, um, also stands out anywhere, and you know, it's just, uh, we're not about always blending in. All right, so inside my 30 liter travel bag, I always carry this little mount mountain hip pack. So once I get to my destination, this is what I'm pulling out, this is what I'm carrying. What I like to do when I'm traveling, show you a little bit about what's inside this, is um, I've got some basic stuff, headphones, my sunglasses, but if I'm out and about in a town and I see somebody with a, a Topo product on, I like to run up to them and kind of freak them out a little bit as the strange guy running up to them and give them a little micro accessory bag just to you know, say thanks for wearing Topo. So I carry a stack of those in there. Um, back compartment, uh, got a Kindle so I can catch up on some reading on the plane. Definitely have a little battery charger pack and cable to go along with that. Um, always keep some stickers so I can throw up and uh, I tend to like to go to a lot of rock clubs, see live music, and often the bathroom's a good spot to throw stickers. So there's also this kind of expandability bungee so I can throw a jacket on the front or an umbrella on these straps on the bottom or something else, or just a sweatshirt that goes in and out. So for such a small footprint, it actually fills a really good niche. You know, some people are great at working on the plane, some people are great at sleeping on the plane, um, some are watching movies. I try to use it as a time to catch up on my reading. The Kindle is fairly new for me in the last few years. I resisted it for a long time. I always liked the spatial nature of a real book. And this Kindle paper white screen, it's pretty amazing and it's kind of changed my mind and I'm all about it now. Right now I'm reading this book called Trust, uh, and it's all kind of about the roaring 20s and 30s and kind of the rise and fall of wealth in that, uh, but a fictionalized account of, of a guy that lived through that. So usually I read for I, I read for a vacation and to check out and, and be in a different place. So yeah, sunglasses up next. Uh, these are some Garrett lights that uh, a buddy of mine gave me because they're very nice. What I really like about them is how uh, thin they pack. So the case packs, they pack really flat, um, easy to go in the bag, and they're sharp. Get my noise canceling headphones, which for me has been a total game changer on flights. Just taking off that white noise, I feel way more rested. Uh, this is a fun little travel charger that my wife just got for me. Plugs in, charges AirPods and phone at the same time. Works pretty great. In this little front pocket, I carry my own tea bags with me just because you never know when you need tea and I love tea, drink it all the time. Then in the main compartment of this bag, which opens like a big clamshell, really easy to pack. It's a pretty simple setup. I've got our Topo Light Dop Kit, which scrunches down pretty small or expands to whatever you're carrying. I've got two Topo Light uh, pack bags that you can stuff way more than you think you can in here. So I just challenge you, just add more. When you think you're done, add something else into it. Um, on this side, I packed our Topo Designs Global Jacket, uh, three layer fabric, very light and thin, um, packs really tight. We've got these really large front pockets 
And inside, there's a venting layer. So if you're wearing it and you're getting, you know how sometimes a rain, a rain shell can get a little muggy? If you open that, those pockets up on the top, you can still get some venting airflow through. Waterproof zippers, um, just some really nice details around the hood. Um, another fun piece of this from a packing perspective is we use our pack fast system on this. So if you roll the jacket up and then you can pull this loop around it and then it compresses packs really tight. And then that's where I can pull it, you know, and either throw it on the front of my little pack this way um, or feed it through the bottom here and carry it around. So really pretty convenient, really packable. This pack fast loop is great. And uh, yeah, great rain shell, great extra layer. Of course, carry a little Topo Designs wallet with me. Uh, really simple bifold. Credit cards on one side, cash on the other. Um, this particular one is made from, we use Horween leather in some of our bags, pretty amazing. And this is kind of the end scraps. We made some wallets out of it. Uh, so this is, a, this is an older example of one we have around, but I really like it, keep that going. And then as far as my watch, I got to a spot where I could, I could get a real watch, saved up for it, it's kind of a big deal for me. Part of the things I really like about it is it's, you know, it's kind of a simple diver style. Um, it's not as ostentatious, perhaps, as some of the other uh, watches that are out there. I kind of like that it flies a little bit under the radar, but quality-wise, it's a great watch. And then for me, what I really like about it is its heft. It has like just the right amount of weight where I feel like, yeah, I'm wearing a watch, feels good. Um, but still pretty simple and just, just a great piece, goes with everything. I think when I'm packing, I'm always trying to be minimal, so what I'll try and do is try and pack a couple nights before I'm going on the trip. And then kind of the next day, I'll see what I can edit out and see what I can pull out. So I'm always kind of thinking like, what can I pull out and not take next time? What can I not take next time? My goal is that I've used everything on a trip and I get a little bummed out if I'm, or not bummed out, but I'm like, ah, oh, crap, I didn't use this. Why did I bring it? So, uh, you know, we'll see what makes the cut next time, but always trying to narrow it down. Uh, but still, obviously, you know, stay within the creature comforts. Thanks again, Huckberry, for letting me uh, drop into the gear lab and, and walk through my, my three-day in Austin carry. Uh, it's been fun. Um, definitely, if you see me on the street, run up, and if you got Topo on, see if I'll give you a Topo accessory bag. Check out our dirt line. I think it's amazing. Wear it all the time. It's great. Um, and hope to see you out there.